What's going on, guys? It's Trinity Tribe. Back to the quick general read. This reading is going to be for the sign of Cancer. All right, let's see what's going on in Cancers. Right, let's see. What's going on with the sign of Cancer? Holy Spirit, give me a message for the sign of Cancer. We have mature woman out there. This woman look like she waiting on some, yeah. Yep, man, female, an official person, mature man. Somebody could be wanting their daughter or son to get married. Yeah, we got adjudication at the bottom of the deck. Some of you guys' parents could be waiting on a marriage here. They feel like they're getting older. And somebody wants you to be married possibly before they go. Your parents could have been evil, though, coming up, whoever this is for. And there's an official. Yeah, they, they was false. There's an official person about to come and sweep you up from this mess. Also, this mature woman looked like she's done something. And she's scared that the official person about to come and get her. Yeah, this woman could be on the run. Could be a mother and a daughter type thing. Many. Yeah, I told you. Look at marriage at the bottom of the deck. They waiting for you to get married. For some of them, some of these guys, though, your parents or whoever this is, somebody could have wanted to put you in an arranged marriage or this is the situation that they was in here. So they wanted you in the same situation as them, a, a tight, toxic, manipulative marriage. They don't even care who you marry to. They're just expecting for you to get married. Yeah, I just heard we are not the same, possibly because somebody's pregnant here. So they feel like if you're carrying... You should be getting married to this person. And they don't even care if this person's not doing you right. They just feel like y'all should be married and stick it out together. That's for somebody out there. Cancer. What's going on with the sign of cancer? There's an official person watching you at this time. This person could be a master at something. We got June the 2nd out here. We got February the 6th. February the 2nd. February the 22nd. February the 26th, May the 22nd, May the 2nd, May the 8th, August the 5th, August the 2nd, August the 10th. I say June the 22nd, June the 5th, June the 8th. All right. The number eight is significant for you guys. All right, we have, are you experiencing physical inflammations? Do you get headaches or sinus conditions? Is a situation in your life inflamed or turbulent? Use visualization, meditation, aromatherapy to calm yourself. Use these tools to experience peace and tranquility. So some of you guys, your family here could be causing you possibly uh, health conditions here. I don't know what this is. Or you could be having a lot of sinus and, and um possibly allergies going on at this time all right so spirit wants you to use aromatherapy to calm yourself all right um some of you guys need to visualize what you want to see in a partner um maybe in the past your parents could have projected a certain energy or on you or what they thought you should have or who you should go towards and spirit is saying it's time for you to take control of your life and you have to visualize who you want your partner who you want your partner to be or what you want your partner to be like or look like for somebody out there, you need to hear, stop seeking validation from these family members here because they're toxic. They were in a toxic marriage. They only were married because either this woman um, needed money and stability and she was conceiving. She could have got pregnant with somebody at 28 or 22. The only reason why they married is because she was conceiving a child and this was a very unhappy marriage. All right. So somebody needs to stop taking counsel from unhappy people who only married for um they had an agenda when they got married and they wanted to look a certain way for the public all right but deep down inside when they go home with each other these are unhappy marriages so spirit is saying don't put yourself 
in the same situation that your parents are in, all right? Just because you're pregnant or whatever the case may be, if you are expecting, because we have expectation out there, um, that doesn't mean that this is your life partner or you have to settle with this person because you guys are pregnant. Um, what that will be is an unhappy marriage. So Spirit is saying to... Um, you got to think about what you want because at the end of the day, this is going to be the person that you're stuck with. All right. Can I have something else here for the sign of cancer? But yeah, take care of those allergies, those sinuses or whatever this is for. Um, you need to find holistic ways to heal yourself. Are you receiving intuitive messages? Do you wish to be more intuitive? Quiet your mind. Accept communication from angels and spirit guides. True communication includes listening, speaking, and observing. Notice messages from nature and your surroundings. So somebody here is um, seeking to be more intuitive, but you can have a lot on your mind at this time, all right, that's clouding your judgment, and that's possibly cutting you away from the messages that you're, that you're wanting to receive is because you're not quieting your mind. For somebody out there, because I just heard solitude, you need to spend more time by yourself. That's how you get to know yourself, spending time by yourself. When you're around a lot of personalities, you could lose yourself or um, people could push their agendas on you or you could become people. So, yeah, spirit wants you to also focus on uh, listening more. Somebody could be a know-it-all out there. Or this could be somebody around you. Somebody's just constantly talking. They don't, you know, desire to listen to other people. And, you know, these are intuitive people that somebody could be crossing, people who they could learn from. All right. So... You know, open up your ears to listen and, uh, you know, just open up your heart to hear, hear what others are saying here. Somebody may, somebody may be really guarded out there. <clears throat> Anything else, spirit? Just cancer needs to know. Yeah, somebody's blocked. Their emotions are blocked at this time. There could have been a situation here. Somebody could have argued with a father or a grandfather. All right, somebody could have had a falling out with somebody at this time here who's of importance of that to them. And somebody's emotions are blocked at this time. Like I said, I felt like somebody's guarded here. All right. Um, somebody here is focusing too much on a negative spirit is saying to release your anger and uh, your resentment here. And to do that, maybe you could go punch on a bag or work out to go running. Um yeah, good workout or something like that. And also somebody needs to drink more water water out there. I heard a masculine needs to start taking baths, all right? Water purifies your body and mind. Hydrate yourself inside out to maintain flu fluidity at all levels of consciousness. Detoxify your body, mind, and emotions. Somebody may also be needing to um, take a break from drugs, whatever you're doing, um, smoking weed, pills, cigarettes, whatever the case may be. Um when you're on drugs sometimes and you're going through a lot, that's a way to block your emotions, close your heart, and also um, just make uh, certain decisions that could possibly not be you. The drugs could be influencing and enticing your behavior. Yeah. Are you envious of someone else's good fortune? Are others jealous of you? Replace jealousy with happiness for others' good fortune. Blessings are received all are received all around. Anyone could create the same blessings with true and pure intention. So somebody here is jealous hearted. I don't know if this is you or somebody around you, but somebody here is focusing on. That's why I said the number eight is significant. Somebody's focusing on somebody else's abundance. And this is what's causing this person to stagnate, be stagnated with their growth because they're hating off of somebody instead of congratulating. All right. Somebody has to look at this from another perspective. Um, if somebody in your circle was doing well and exceeding, wouldn't you want to learn from this individual opposed to hating off of them? Because for some of you guys, your emotions could be blocked because either you or somebody moved away from you because they felt like you were hating. They felt that negative energy. So somebody cut you off. And I have a headache right now, okay? So I didn't have one before I started this. So yeah, like, Somebody could just feel your energy. Your energy is very strong at this time. Um, somebody could have walked away from you because they felt that, or you could have done this to them. This person was really hateful in the spirit, and you you felt that, um, or they did, whatever the case may be. Um, you gotta, uh, you gotta. I told, I said that. Open up your heart, though. Just you know, open your heart. 
for whoever this is resonating for. Um, somebody here could have been expecting to make bank or to be a part of somebody's fortune. I don't know what this is. Um, and because they're not, somebody could be really upset or feeling entitled. Yeah, we have rise and reverse. All right. So somebody's not ascending at this time. We have 22, number 22 out there. It's in reverse, though. Somebody's not ascending at this time. And it could be because of their jealous heart. It is time for an awakening. The trauma, wounds, and heartaches of your past are over now because you have been brave enough to confront them and burn them down. Now you are standing on the fertile ash of your past and ready to rise. But you got to remember that this is in reverse. This card is, um, is of realignment and self-development. You're ready to change ahead, charge ahead. So stop doubting yourself. You know that you... You know what you want and need. The only thing missing now is for you to stand up and reach for it. After all you've been through, it is safe for you to share yourself with the world again. The right people are waiting for you to rise and greet and greet with them. Greet them with an open heart. This card is auspicious for those who are looking for new love and relationships. So yeah, like I said here, somebody here is choosing not to rise because they're taking counsel here. Somebody could have like really wanted to be in a relationship with somebody who was sacred but their family told them that this person was no good for them somebody's holding a lot of hate in their heart because of that but they chose to listen to the situation but also here somebody has not been willing to change so somebody's not able to transform because if you never change all right you, you don't get rid of your outdated beliefs and, and values and whatnot how can you change when the world is constantly changing around you every day how can you stay the same Somebody needs to hear that. All right. Yeah, somebody's broken and fragmented at this time. And, you know, they could want others in this energy. But spirit is going to take everybody away from you. Because if you're in this energy and there's people around you ascending, why would you want to pull them back down? I don't know who this is resonating for, you or Crosswatcher. Yeah, we have Fern. It's also in reverse. Uh, Somebody could be jealous. Yeah. Ferns begin to sprout during the early days of spring, breaking through damp, peck winter soil. At first, they are curled inward. All right, pulling the fern car is an indication that you may have some lower vibrations swirling around you. See, it's in reverse. So, um, somebody cleared somebody. That's just on period. Perhaps you have toxic people in your life, such as a cruel co-worker or a critical parent or a gossiping friend. It is easy to get trapped in lower vibrational energies, especially when it is what you know, but you have been enlightened, uh, you have an enlightened soul and can rise above through the negativity and stagnation. Fern guides you to reach for the light even when those even when there is only darkness surrounding you. Meet negativity with high vibrational energies like compassion, curiosity, and empathy. All right, so yeah, so like I said here, somebody cleared out something. And somebody could have really meant a lot to somebody here with the gather card. Somebody held somebody really close to their heart, but this person was trying to sabotage them or this person was listening to family members and friends opposed to a lover or somebody who really meant something to them. This person closed their heart on this person and then this person's, you know, feeling that imbalance here because look, this was a perfect match. Somebody was hot, somebody was cold, but you guys were supposed to get together and intertwine and balance each other out here. So yeah, somebody's no longer crying about this though. Somebody's out their head and you know it's over. All right. Uh, somebody closed the situation here. Tell me more, spirit. What's going on here? Somebody's insecure. I just heard too. All right. What's going on with cancer? Holy Spirit, can you have a message here? Something for cancer. Yeah, so if your parents are negative or your friends, your co-workers, negative and toxic, it's time to separate from them. Cut your energy, pull your energy back. Somebody may be needing to cut the cords on anybody in their life at this time who's causing negativity, any stagnation and delays here. Spirit is going to separate you guys regardless. Whether you want to do it willingly or Spirit's just going to go ahead and get with the Ten of Swords. They're just going to end it here. That's just what it is. We have the four wands. All right. Somebody could be upset that somebody walked away here and their stability and their foundation fell down, their fortune and everything. Somebody just fucked their whole destiny. 
because you know somebody here could have betrayed somebody as well over and over again here maybe that's why somebody's not able to ascend here somebody has betrayed somebody over and over again here somebody who has been kind and caring to them loving brought them stability here help try to balance them out and this person chose to take the envious path. So at the end of the day here, somebody's not rising and then they're sitting in resentment. I just heard I'm all cried out with nothing to say. If you could only see with all the love you bring, I love you so much. I'm yearning for your touch. Come and set me free wherever you shall be. Baby, won't you come take this pain away? Yeah, last night, I couldn't even get an answer. Yeah, so yeah, we got the Queen of Wands, and then we have the Seven of Wands. So yeah, somebody ended some stability here with somebody, and somebody has regained their sexiness back, their confidence. And with the Seven of Wands, this person's protected by Archangel Michael. This person's celebrating, and this person's happy. This person has been in lack this person has spent a lot of time crying over failed relationships and situations people who've put this person through the ringer this person has been criticized by their parents family friends have been the mockery of the job all right and this person has finally found their happiness and stability and somebody wants to block that out yeah somebody wants this person to be out in the cold from celebrating this they don't want this person to be emotionally fulfilled but spirit has another plan for this person This Queen of Wands is guarded. Could have been dealing with a fire energy. We got the Four of Wands, Queen of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, this person's finances are protected here. This person's about to be paid. Yeah, with the Ten of Cups because this person here deserves happiness. This person had a family but felt like they never had a family. This person felt alone in their family. This person has a story with a lot of conviction in it. And if anybody thinks that they're going to come through and they're going to tamper with this individual's happiness, spirit has another plan for you. And you know what it'll be? It'll be the Ten of Swords. So go ahead and try it. Try to stop this person's ascension. And this is for whoever this is resonating for. You step in this Queen of Wands energy field and you try to block or steal or whatever the case may be, you may wind up on your deathbed. Yeah, because this person's going to be victorious regardless with the Six of Wands. All right, yeah. We got the Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. A lot of people held back emotions from this person. A lot of people. They left this person. And this person is standing on their own too at this time here. Destiny. Destiny came. Yeah. With the Hierophant and uh, the Five of Cups. This person has cried to God. This person has been on their knees. Over failed relationship. Over failed relationship. Failed relationship. Friendship. Why do I get treated like this? X, Y, and Z here. And God came and filled every void in this person's body. This person will be happy. This person has their own spiritual practice. This person, somebody's guarded. Somebody's scared to work with this person or talk to this person because of the secrets that they hold. But yeah, this person's going to have a spiritual practice with her husband, his, her, his or her spouse. All right. This person will have their spiritual practice or whatever they're looking for to have this marriage. All right. A lot of people try to step in this person's path and block them out. But it's spirit said no more. This person will be happy. This child is protected. All right. Somebody was doing spell work on somebody's money. Yeah. Page of Wands and the, and the devil um, calling out to devils here to block out this person's victory and success. But I also look at it like somebody who you cut off or they cut you off, whatever the case may be. Now somebody's, you know, obsessed with speaking to somebody. They're internally conflicted, but it's possibly, yeah, and they don't have much to offer at this time. It's possibly they're only obsessed with somebody's fortune and finances and what this person has to offer. But, um, yeah, the devil is being blocked out at this time. Could possibly be a Capricorn. Yeah, the angels came down and they swept this person up here. All right. Also, how I look at it is um, there could be a Capricorn obsessed, what, with a Sagittarius or a Cancer, somebody who's been rejected. They did spell work on this. Somebody already knows about this here. And yeah, this person's getting karma. They're about to be juggling back and forth this Capricorn or this Cancer, what, Taurus is a fire sign. All right. What's coming in finances for the sign of Cancer? Too many. Yep, we do have the Wheel of Fortune. All right, but they came out with too many cards. What's going on with finances for cancer? Oh. 
Yeah, somebody was crying, worried about somebody else's relationship here. What's going on with finances? Page of Wands. Some of you guys could be motivational speakers or this is what you're aspiring to be. Here, you also could do something with your hands. I just heard plumber, electrician. All right, we got the nine, nine of swords and we have the seven of pentacles in reverse here. All right, so yeah, somebody could have recently lost a job. I hate to say it here. Somebody, possibly an air sign. Some of you guys could be uh, uh, gardeners or landscapers or something like that. All right, we had the lovers, the queen of cups in reverse and the eight of swords. Yeah, so um, somebody chose to go back to an ex here. Somebody who doesn't even love them. I don't, this has nothing to do with finances, but I don't know. Um, somebody chose to go back to a lover and they were supposed to have this practice with this, this, this uh, queen of cups. Huh? Something like that. Yep, somebody's supposed to be doing something here with a, with a lover, but they turned their back. Yeah, they ended this. They ended this. All right. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you guys are confused about your career path right now. All right. Yeah, that's why Spirit said meditate on what you want to see here. Yeah, we got the Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Um. Yeah, I see what's coming in love. But yeah, some of you guys could be powerful speakers. Maybe you need to start speaking up on what you're going through here. Or there could be a male model out there. All right. It is safe for you to love here with playfulness. So somebody could be coming in for you, Cancer. Um, but like I said, maybe guard it. Don't block your blessings now. Yeah, we have flirt here. Somebody, um, somebody here, you uh somebody. Either you're excited by somebody or somebody's excited by you. Express your feelings. Somebody could be holding back right now, probably possibly because of that hateful heart. Um, but yeah, something playful is coming in for you. It's up to you if you're up to it, up for it to um, you know, to go ahead and do this. But if you know your heart is not in the right place, don't waste somebody's time. All right. Yeah, we have Taurus and Aries. Who's coming towards cancer? Pisces, Capricorn, anything else, spirit? Taurus, Aries, Pisces, Capricorn, anything else? Yeah, Sagittarius. All right. Um, let me get a couple quick shadow messages. What does Cancer need to know here? You will get that job. You filled out the application for a claimant. All right. So Spirit wants you to meditate on that. Pray about it. You will get it. Hidden motives, agendas, question their intentions here. So somebody could be wanting to work for your business here. Yeah, who hacks your page? Somebody could be hacking your page at this time or trying to. Yeah, a book author or publisher. Somebody could be doing that, trying to hack you. Somebody's name could be Timothy or Timothy was a thief here with green. Somebody who's stealing money, drama king or a queen. Yeah, somebody could have stole from somebody that they loved or was doing magic on them here. Spirit wants a cancer to know that your wife is for everybody, bro, or you could be. Major betrayals are about to be exposed. Somebody's sleeping around here. Yeah, somebody could also be secretly bisexual, a closeted freak here, um, wanting somebody to heal their energy. Desperate need for money will steal yours. Somebody, yeah, meditate and levitate. All right, the number 14 could be significant to somebody out there. Somebody wants to know how you're going to act like that here. Yeah, jealous bitch, mad. Mad her man wants you. Wow. Forwarding your address to get your mail. Money delays delay you from paying your bills. Somebody's doing all of this, but they want to know, do you still love them? Trifling. All right. Yeah, jailbird. Don't waste your time. There could be a Leo involved in this. Somebody's in fantasy land at this time. They thinking they're getting away with this. This is fat shit. Tripping on you. All right. Same building, different views. We are not the same. We got Gemini. Somebody wears two faces.